Hi YouTube family, let's geek out on a neuroscience thing for a second. So when you undergo a big trauma, say you're a little kid and something really intense happens that you don't have the resources to deal with because you're a kid, but your brain is flooded with all these scary chemicals that make you terrified and disempowered and overwhelmed. Your brain, in order to protect you, will suction off that group of neurons holding the memory and the experience. It will kind of put up a fence around it, encapsulate it to protect you. And this is called a dissociative capsule. Dissociative because it dissociates, it's not present, and capsule because it's encapsulated. So then as you grow, because healing in the body is always trying to happen, healing in the brain is trying to happen, when you feel safe or when something triggers it up accidentally, you'll feel, oh my gosh, let me get away from this. I don't wanna deal with this. I'm overwhelmed instantly because it's just touching that section of neurons that holds this memory and it's saying, oh no, this is not safe, we have to stop this. So if you have that, go on. If you notice that you have these triggers that will either trigger up something that you can only vaguely remember, but it makes you feel really bad, or maybe you do remember it, but any mention of these triggers makes you wanna run the other way, that means there's buried treasure under there for you. So if you have people around that you trust, if you work with a therapist or a healer that you know has the skills and the inclination and the power to help you, these are the places that you want to go because always buried in these spots, there are superpowers, there are gifts and treasures for you to get. So do the work, read up on it, see what you need to see, talk to who you need to talk to, but you deserve to have full access to your brain. And these dissociative capsules can get rewoven into the rest of your brain and neurology. And it can be a really healing, really gentle thing if you go slow and take as much rest as you need to throughout the process. Hopefully that was helpful. I find that understanding neuroscience and neuroanatomy, other than just being something I love to geek out on, really helps me in my healing practice, both my individual personal healing and also the healing work that I do with others because it gives us context and logical scientific things to understand when we're running this energy and working in the non-physical spaces because there's always a reflection in the physical space. And that's a great thing about scientific discoveries moving forward is that all the time there are more and more links being made so that we can understand what we've always said is going on energetically now in very physical ways. If you are interested in working with me, I am currently booking my March mentorship students. You can go to my website for that, karismalina.com. And I have a few spots for sessions open in February, March. Also, we're starting the anxiety toolkit on February 22nd, which will give you tools that begin working in under a minute and you can use for the rest of your life if you're someone who struggles with anxiety. And finally, just for a little taste of what we do together, there's the Earthing Course out that will definitely shift your life if you just do the assignments a few weeks long. You can find all the stuff on my website. Sending you so much love. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And sending you the wishes that you have people around you who can hold space for you, that are safe, that you know are good at what they do, and they have the capacity, the time, the energy, and the will to help you through your healing process. Have a beautiful day.